my nominee. Jay Clemens. What you say? Hi, uh, thanks, I guess, Emma, for nominating me for the ice thing. I appreciated your condescending candor. Um, well, I guess thanks for nominating me for the challenge to be the change you want to see in the world and to think about where your money's going. Those are super important and I want to perpetuate that. If I was 80% stupid, you'd call me an idiot on water, mostly water. Okay, so I'm um, gonna say a whole lot of stuff and uh, talk about a bunch of things. So go to this time code if you don't want to hear me talk forever. I have said some things about ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. It's so stupid! I'm better than everyone else. Whatever, there's positives and negatives. Read Vice or Huffington, whatever you gotta do. Uh, it doesn't really matter, they're raising money and awareness and that's awesome. Since they've raised like 70 plus million, I'm also not going to donate to ALS. Um, I'm gonna donate to Charity Water. Um, their organization for making sure everybody has water around the world, and I'm going to donate to um, Red Letter Media, uh, Scallywags, and Lunar Baboon, who's a Toronto artist who may be the next Bill Watterson. Okay, so the biggest thing that I hear is people uh, naysaying, complaining about wasting water. And sure, I mean, we, like, it rains here, it's great, it's not a desert like California right now or anything. But remember that we don't, like, get that energy back. We're spending hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars every year to make sure that every time you turn on a tap in the city, that water is drinkable. Like, you're not going to get E. coli, even if you're not going to drink that water. So, like, every time you wash your car with your hose or every time you fill up your fish tank, that water is drinkable. What was I talking about? So wasting water and energy. Um, if we all took one less minute in our showers and turned our water like five degrees cooler, we'd be saving millions of dollars in energy and water. And that's not an exaggeration. Uh, look at these sites. I'll put lower thirds or things on the sidebar that you can uh, do your own math and reading. Um, so. <laughs> In that vein of conservation and everything, in lieu of the ice bucket challenge, I'm going to take cold showers for one month. Starting now! Okay, so I know how to do cold showers. Uh, this wizard Magoo taught me how to do them. Uh, you gotta get in and you gotta just like do it super quick. So you look the thing right in the face. Right in the face! And it's gonna be it like the warmest it's gonna be is right when it gets turned on. So here we go. <laughs> Okay. And you can keep the water going if you want by turning it off. It's conservative and it's like, it's really cold. Um, and I soap myself all up into bits and you wash your, your head and your foot arms and your pants bouquet and your stink crevice and you turn the thing on <laughs> it's supposed to be really good for your circulation and your memory and your brain I wish I was upset you're ready oh no cold it is what you do it and it's supposed to be good for your circulation and your memory and your brain. <laughs> but it's insanely cold. Um, so I'm not gonna nominate anybody to do this, I, other than like everybody, everybody should do it if they can. Oh god, how is so stupidly cold? Uh, the bucket that I poured at the beginning, I'll use that to cook and clean with. 30 more days. 
of that. Thanks, Emma. I hate you.